Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us today. As restoration practitioners in the beautiful Western Cape, it is essential for us to prioritize the planting of local indigenous species in our projects. Let's dive into why this is important and how we can effectively source the right plants for restoration efforts. Understanding the significance of local indigenous plants begins with knowing what is native to South Africa and more specifically to our various local environments. The Oxford Dictionary defines indigenous as plants that originate or occur naturally in a particular place. Did you know that South Africa boasts around 20,000 indigenous plant species? That's an astonishing 10% of all plant species found on earth. Our country's vegetation is categorized into 471 unique vegetation groups. This classification is vital for our restoration work and includes 88 savanna vegetation types, 73 grassfeld vegetation types, 81 fynbos vegetation types, 29 Renosterfeld vegetation types, 65 succulent karoo vegetation types, 54 Albany thickets, 29 Nama karoo vegetation types, 35 azonal vegetation types, and 17 forest and coastal belt vegetation types. Each of these vegetation types is influenced by several key aspects of which we'll mention four year distribution, vegetation and landscape features, geology and soil, and climate. As restoration practitioners, paying close attention to what is historically present in an area is crucial. The vegetation forms the foundation of the entire ecosystem, which is why it's important to reintroduce the appropriate native plants. One of the best resources available to us is iNaturalist, the collaboration between the California Academy of Sciences and the National Geographical Society. Here is how you can use this to obtain a tailored plant list for your restoration site. After opening the site in your web browser and logging in, zoom in to as close as possible to your relevant site. Choose the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle around your specific site. Go to Filters, Choose Vegetation under the Categories and leave Verifiable Ticked. You can then download. Our naturalist offers a vast array of information of which you need to choose the relevant. Choose Cultivate It, Captive No, Identification Any and Quality Grade Any. Ensure that the vegetation icon is still chosen. Verifiable yes, threatened any, introduced no, native any, and popular no. Under option three, choose none, and then redo ID only. Geographical information, you can choose none, as you already highlighted the area with your rectangle. Under taxonomy, you can leave species guess and scientific name chosen. All the others can be deselected then you can export. You can choose to receive via email or simply download your file. You will now have a suggested plant list for your relevant site. This serves as a foundational starting point. However, remember that further consideration must be given to site dynamics. You can use the same criteria applied in the vegetation map for your project, but tailor this to each unique site. This includes distribution, vegetation and landscape features, geology and soil, and climate. In conclusion, prioritizing local indigenous plants in our restoration projects ensures the resilience and ecological integrity of our ecosystems in the Western Cape. By understanding our vegetation types and considering site-specific factors, we can make an informed decision that contribute to a healthier environment. Thank you for your dedication to restoring our natural heritage. Together we can still make a difference. Please feel free to share any questions or thoughts you may have as we move forward in our restoration efforts.